Team, I recently needed a formula to help me pull the last non-empty value from a row in Excel. To provide some context, assume you're updating your portfolio at the end of the year to see how your investments performed. You are invested in some Vanguard funds that provide immediate reporting, but you also have some private investments that take time to report. Here you will see you have some hedge funds, trust us capital, fees don't matter, as well as some direct private equity investments and real estate investments. And some of these just don't report as quickly, but you want one column that pulls the most recently available data. So here we go. How do we create one formula that will pull all of the most recent values into this column? So to pull this off, we're going to use the lookup function. And as soon as Excel shows it to you, you can press tab, which just eliminates a little bit of typing. Then we'll use a lookup value of two. And what follows requires a little explanation. So I'm going to input it and then we're going to come back for the explanation. The less than greater than operators in quick succession just mean not equal to. And quotation marks in Excel, which are used to denote the beginning and end of a text string. When left empty, suggest an empty text string. So here we're saying that this array is not equal to an empty text string. And then for our result vector, we're going to go back and pick the same cell range. Press enter. And let's paste this down for all line items. So this is pretty slick. You'll see where we have Q4 values. The formula returns that value, but when we don't, and the value for Q4 is blank, it returns Q3's value. So how does that work? Well, honestly, I have no idea. No, I'm just kidding. Let's use an example missing a Q4 value so that we can see exactly what's taking place. So what's really taking place here? We have a cell range, and we're saying that it's not equal to an empty string. And when we do that, Excel returns an array. Press F9, and you'll see that the array includes the values true, 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 and false. Now, Excel converts true and false values to 1 and 0 if you introduce a mathematical operation. And if I expand the selection to include that, and press F9 again, you'll see that now the array includes 1, 1, 1, and an error. And that's because 1 divided by 0 returns an error. Then with the lookup function, we tell Excel to look for the value 2, which obviously is never going to exist in this array. But Excel will look through the array, attempting to find this value, and return the last value instead. Which in this case is the third value in the cell range. So Excel takes this position and applies it to the result vector and returns the value 600. Pretty awesome. Hope you liked it. You can download the Excel template at the link available below, but otherwise, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.